This is Rex. Unfortunately, he suffers from OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. This is just one night where he has to lock his doors and go to sleep. Of course, you may be thinking that you and Rex are the same, but you both have to go and double check if the iron is unlocked or if the car door is locked. But for sufferers of obsessive compulsive disorder, obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors become so excessive that they interfere with their daily lives, and no matter what you do, you just can't seem to shake them. Individuals also have more signs and symptoms. They have a fear of being contaminated by germs or dirt or contaminating others. They have a fear of causing harm to themselves or others. They have a fear of losing or not having things they might need. Order and symmetry, like everything has to line up just right. Excessive double checking on things. Repeatedly checking in on loved ones to make sure they're safe. Counting, tapping, repeating certain words, or doing other sensitive things to reduce anxiety. Spending a lot of time washing or cleaning. Accumulating junk like empty food containers or old newspapers. You might think that if you have OCD, you cannot stop it. But there are many management techniques which may or may not work for each person. To manage OCD, you can do some exercise, give it some time, yell or sing into a pillow, talk to someone, do some relaxation methods like yoga, write or type a journal, play some video games, go to support groups, medication may help, or cognitive behavior therapy which is going to a doctor. Individuals suffering from OCD are discriminated with a lot of things, like job interviews. So you're the one who wants to be employed here? Yes, I am. What is your name? My name is Aman Chama. Do you have any mental health issues? Yes, I have both OCD. Sorry, but you can't have the job. We need to stop this discrimination, especially with young people. Discriminating against an individual is as distressing as the symptoms themselves. There are more than 40 negative consequences of stigma that have been identified. We should accept people for everything for whatever mental illness they have. Yes, I have both OCD. That's alright. Where were you last employed? There are many sites to go to for support. Black Dog Institute, Beyond Blue, Reach Out and SANE. If you want to talk to someone, you can go to a doctor, psychiatrist, or just someone on the phone that you trust. And remember, helping someone with OCD isn't beyond you.